change uh-huh. Cardi B straight stunning, can't tell me Nothing bossed up and I changed the game Cause Damon is my big bronze boogie guy All them girls shook, shook my big fat Hey loves, happy Monday Welcome to another week in my life I am finally back vlogging and I almost didn't vlog today because I'm trying to figure out do I want a daily vlog? Do I want to do like a weekly vlog? Um, because like putting on a video every day is a whole lot and I know you guys, I get behind on video guys, you guys get behind. So let me know if you were just like one long weekly vlog. I don't know, I've done that in the past and I like um, long weekly vlogs but only thing is keeping up with all that footage. So. I probably won't. I may just do like a vlog. Well, I'm all, like almost almost daily, like every other day vlogs. We shall see. And also, guys, let me know if you like the vlogs being on a schedule. Because I know vlogs are supposed to come out. New vlogs every day except for, I forgot my own schedule. But I know they're supposed to come out at 8 p.m. They have not been coming out at 8 p.m. Let me know if it makes a difference to you. To me, when I watch videos, it doesn't make a difference what people's schedule are because I'm always behind anyway. But if you would like the videos to be out at a certain time or you also want to schedule on days because they're going to be like I uh, normally Mondays are supposed to be my not vlog day. But I was like, whatever. But if you want me to come up with a schedule, definitely let me know. You guys, please comment down below like. If you don't normally comment, leave a comment. <laughs> like, let me know to tell me what's up because no need to be, you know, doing something that y'all don't like or thinking extra hard where I could just do me. Uh, so just say, if you want me to say, do you, girl, do you, girl. <laughs> um, if if you have any suggestions, definitely let me know. I always enjoy feedback on my vlogs. Also, um, that is one reason why I stopped vlogging. Um, I took a mental health break, number one, and then number two, um, my vlogs were boring me, okay? They were boring me while editing. So I was like, let me take a step back because at the end of the day, I can't change my life and what I'm doing, but I can, you know, definitely try to improve and do more on things. But anyways, if you're not familiar, not sure where I'm at, if you don't recognize these couches, I am at my sister's house. I just got here maybe about 30 minutes ago, maybe less than that. I picked up us some, um, lunch. It is actually time I... My eating window started a whole hour and 19 minutes ago, and I haven't eaten yet today. But I picked us up some moles. Um, But right now, I am currently cleaning her kitchen. Y'all know I usually, when I come here, I'm usually doing my dishes, which I do plan on doing my dishes. But I wanted to get her kitchen clean up first um, because she has a showing today. This is perfect lighting in front of this window, especially if I hold the camera, which... I don't feel like holding it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she has a showing today of her house at 530. So, we're um, just trying to get the house. She pretty much has the house so freaking clean. Like, I'm just, uh, it's just baffling. I'm like, Lord. <laughs> like, the house is so clean, y'all. Um, let me show you her bedroom. She has so many rooms. I gave y'all a tour a long time ago. But there was an air mattress on the floor. But she's picked that up, cleaned it all up. So that's one of the bedrooms. This is another bedroom she's made into her office. So she has, she put the futon from downstairs. Oh, I didn't even see the pillows and stuff. Dream it be it. I mean, that's cute. Oh, I'm not even showing y'all, I'm sorry. I hate when people do that. I be watching people videos, I watch people vlogs. And they be talking about something and don't show it to you, like. So her office, she got it all nice and pretty. Yes. Got all her certifications, certificate, whatever the word is. Bathroom, everything clean. This is one of the bedrooms. Bathroom, this is the room I call my bedroom. Got it all clean. Her bedroom, yeah, still working on that. <laughs> and I don't know what her bathroom look like. But anyway, it's just helping her out. So she can get ready for showing of her house. Because she is trying to sell this home so she can move closer into town. Which I'm excited about. Like this house, its location is ideal for somebody like me who's a loner, you know, who, well, even not right now because I'm, I'm so busy with photo shoots and stuff. Like I do have to go in town a lot, but like somebody who works from home, who don't have a lot of activities. Like my sister has so much going on. Like I was just laughing at her just now because she was answering her, her work phone, but she also has her B major stuff. She was like, 
Hi, thank you for calling. And I'm not going to say the name of her, where she work at. And then she was like, be major management, like she had already said. I just laughed because she my sister has so much going on. I'm so proud of her. Um, she's a full-time entrepreneur and a full-time worker. And hopefully, God willing, she'll be a full-time entrepreneur real soon, chasing her dreams. So, yeah. Basically, long story short, getting the kitchen scraped so that can be together. Let me sit back now because my foot was already hurting me. So, I was taking a quick rest sitting down. That's when I decided to pick you guys up. But yeah, vlogs are back. I hope you're happy about it. Um, and I'm going to continue to clean up her kitchen. I'm not going to even worry about doing my dishes and stuff till later on. So I make sure she's all straight. And her guests, I mean, the people who's doing the house is come and gone. Um, so yeah, that's it, you guys. Nothing major to update on you to y'all, regardless of life. I had a hell of a week. Last week in regards to my workload, if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, I posted my to-do list and honey, all that was a week worth of, of photos. And it's crazy because like I know people who do more work than me and I'm like, how the hell do y'all do it? But I got all the photos done. So the only thing I have on my docket right now is the wedding video and I've given myself, it is not due until sometime next month, the final due date. Because I give myself a 21 to 40 day, 45 day business day turnaround on wedding videos. The 45 day business day is not the next month, but I have a wedding. No, next weekend. Now I'm just, I'm, woo, wait a minute. Yeah, next weekend. So, and that also includes some videos. So that means I need to knock this out. So. I have to have this wedding video done. Um, I would like to have it done by the end of this week. But by the end of um, May, definitely. So that's what... One reason why I came over here. Because I was not... I don't know what it is. I wasn't concentrate, concentrating at home. And to be honest, I was stuck in the house all last week. I was sick. Like I said, if you follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. Which you should. Um, you guys saw all that. So I was stuck in the house. So I guess I'm kind of over my house now. Which is... Big for me to say because I love to be home unless I'm traveling somewhere. Um, but I love to be home. But I was like, let me just go somewhere else and get a fresh new brain. So my only focus here while I'm here, however how long I stay here, because y'all know when I come here, I stay long. <laughs> it will be doing the wedding video. And uh, yeah. So I have my hair out in these bantu knots. I took my braids out. What is in my hair? I took my braids out yesterday. And I didn't wash my hair. I kind of just took did the, took the braid out and just did bantu knots and tied. Of course, left my edges out. Um, but I did that because the back of my neck, y'all, is tore up. Like I now remember, like why I stopped getting braids. Like I, I stopped getting weave all together because weave always break me out. But then I started wearing wigs again, and I was fine. I wasn't having any problem with the wigs. So that made me forget about my allergy to whatever is in weave. So I got that braiding hair, y'all. It had my whole back of my neck. It's starting to heal up. Um, it it's like bumps all over it. So I've been treating that all week. So I also I'm thinking about trying to do like so a natural a video on my other channel about lighting lightening my neck because like the back of my neck is like dark. So I've been looking up like natural ways to do that. So I'm thinking about doing something like that. If you've done something like that before. Comment down below or let me know what you use. But I'm thinking about doing that because I was I didn't like the way the back of my neck looked when I was taking pictures of it to see like the allergic reaction or whatever. But anyways, this clip is getting entirely too long. Um, let me get back to work so I can nibble on something, which I can nibble on something now. But once I sit down and eat, I just want to sit down and eat. So yeah, I talk to you guys later. I think I did a good job. Please ignore that bag that's gonna go in the trash. Ignore that candle, cause that's gonna go back on the stand. My cabinet's clean. Stove, sink, everything put up. Yeah, this thing is still. I don't think I'm gonna have stainless steel in my house. As you can see, fingerprints and stuff, but she don't have the right stuff to clean it. 
not using, leaving residue. And there's our food still sitting there. Put it on there vacuuming. I love, I am tired. <laughs> Finally sitting down, I'm actually in the kitchen. You're probably like, where is she at? I'm at a, a, a table in the kitchen. I got my sister office chair, cause I just wanted a more solid surface cause I've been working out of the bed all week. So after a while I get some comfortable on my body and stuff like that. So yeah, just finished taking some pictures, trying my hand at real estate photography. Not really bad, it's just like, hey, let me try, cause and she's gonna need pictures eventually, maybe. So yeah, this is gonna be the desk space of the day. I still have my food. I didn't put a dent in that burrito. Oh my god, I've never gotten the burrito itself. I always get the bowl. That's a lot, man. I'm guessing it's the same thing as the bowl, same amount of food. But I don't know, compacted in one. Maybe it's a mental thing, but it was a lot. So. I'm going to get my stuff set up here. I know I bring all my cords. Then I'll plug up the focus. Like I said, the focus is this wedding video. And then, I lied, I do have other things on my plate. <laughs> I actually have, I did my nephew's cap and gown um, pictures on Sunday for his, he's graduating high school. And then I did, um, I still wanted to edit my niece's eighth grade ball pictures i did post them the unedited pictures but just me being me and me being anal i'm gonna edit those and post those i need to post some pictures on my facebook today a client actually reached out to me and asked could i post some today from their event so i'm gonna do that now and yeah that's pretty much the move so how that y'all if anything else Alright guys, it is actually 11.55 p.m. and I am still here at this whole little setup here in the kitchen working on this video. I'm making great progress. Um, just took a little break talking to my best friend on the phone. I haven't talked to my best friend um, like in a minute. Like we've both been having, um, it's just been a week and it's crazy because no, I've talked via text messages. I sent out a text message last week, last Monday, just like, you know, just re encouraging both of my best friends about the message that we heard when we went to church that Sunday together. It was an awesome message. And when I tell you, it was such an on time word. And I just um, sent them an inspired message, message. And it turns out one of my best friends had a rough week. And then I had a rough week. And I was just like, she's like, I knew you were stressed. That's why I didn't bother you. I'm like, and sometimes I don't recognize when I'm stressed and I'm starting to notice now, like when I'm sick, when I get sick, when I have so much going on, it usually means I'm stressed. And I just need to mentally tell myself that and then deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep it moving. But anyways, I came on the chat while I ended up talking to her and she was telling me about her testimony from this week. Let me tell you, God is so freaking good. Girl, I almost threw the phone. Almost threw the phone. Like, God is just so, 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 so good. <sighs> he just so good he just knows how to how to talk to to you you know what i'm saying like to you and you alone and he and when i say talk i mean whether it's you hear a voice you hear something from somebody else you see something something happened you receive something like he just sends his word so that's my preaching for the day you guys if you don't have them please find them lord excuse me salsa in the background of me i am still eating the same meal you guys um it is i'm gonna stop eating at 12 because my eating period is from 2 to 10 but the day since we did all this cleaning stuff i don't think i well, I probably i don't think i started eating till like five o'clock but i'm gonna cut it off at 12 i'm gonna just drink i've been drinking my water i have this little bottle here that my flavor water was in. It's a liter, so I just refill that and 
four of those will get me a gallon. So I'm not at a gallon a day, but I'm still I'm still chugging along. And I'm about to do my apple cider vinegar shot because I used to do this first thing. Well, it's the second thing I do in the morning. I've been on um, this this past week that y'all didn't see. I've been working on my mental, like I said. I'm still trying to get myself well, but also working on my own mental health. And I've been doing, um, I've been reading some devotions. I've been reading the devotions pretty much all week. I mean, all month. But this week, I decided, you know, because I've said this before, and I say things that I don't follow through. I'm like, listen, when I first wake up, I don't need to pick up this phone and be looking on social media, checking emails, doing anything work-related. Like, I need to have time with God first. And that's what I've been, I did every day last week. And that's what I did today. Um, I just <laughs> forgot to take my apple cider vinegar. But I've been taking my apple cider vinegar after I finish my um devotions and i shared it on snapchat i may have said this in another clip i don't remember um but i shared it on snapchat and if you're interested in knowing you can follow me on the bible app because apparently you can add friends and stuff i didn't know i started getting friend requests and stuff i was like oh okay so um but yeah a few i will share it again on here lord but um this is i think this has been working as regards to my sinuses um, they're just, they're, they're just this way. Like, I don't know what's going on. My camera's dirty, y'all. Uh, I don't know what's going on with them, but there we go. Overall, I've been just hearing from a lot of people that it's just a lot worse than I've actually had to pull up my asthma pump, um, a couple times. So, yeah, but this, this is just, you know, start trying to start a habit, just like, opening the morning devotions just trying to start a habit and keeping it going and a lot of times when I start habits I kind of have to do it away from people <laughs> I do it away from even you know you know sharing it with you guys just doing it doing it on my own and then coming back once I've already got it going so I'm going to chug this bad boy um and I also been using apple cider vinegar and witch hazel on my skin and besides this pimple which is hormonal um it's been looking pretty good because my skin has been doing some very weird things. I've been getting oily skin and all kind of foolishness. I don't know what's going on, y'all. But I've also, like I said, I've been using apple cider vinegar and witch hazel to do that every day. And that's another thing I've been doing daily. So, yeah. Oh, God. That was a gnat. They smell this vinegar. So, bottoms up. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Smooches.